Hey guys and welcome inside my screen. Now guys, the craziest shit just happening. I recorded 45 minutes of chart time. I put together an amazing trailer talk just for you guys. And guess what? By the time I decided to play the video, I found out that the sound was muffled up. Like, I think my computer froze and I just kept on talking. And then at the end of the day, the sound, the sound was horrible. So this is me. I'm having to do another one again, obviously, because of the love I have for you guys. I have to go again. So pardon me if I'm very down. I wish you guys had listened to the first one because, you know, I was, I was yabbing, okay? But, you know, everything happens for a reason. That's life. We have to go again, okay? Like I said, if not for the love I have for you guys, I'll uh, check out and go to bed. So guys, <clears throat> once again, welcome inside my screen. I want to kick today's session off with gold, okay? Now, um... Gold for the longest has been playing around with this region. Okay, I remember stating categorically that I, I was very bearish on gold. I remember when everybody wanted to start buying gold somewhere around here. I said um, I'm not really interested in going on gold because I felt that gold was bearish, and I'll explain to you guys why I felt gold was bearish. Before I even get into that, um, I just wanted to quickly talk about my gold trade at the moment. I'm currently short gold from somewhere around here. Um, the guys on the Telegram group had, um, had seen the opportunity as well. Kudos to you guys. You guys are doing fantastically well. Um, um, nothing makes me happier than to see you guys succeed and you know, make some money back. Um, like I said earlier in the video, the guy messaged me and said, Listen, sir, I've made my money back and I'm quite happy about that. Probably made about three grand. I saw the screenshot. They had made like three grand um, back. So. Um, yeah, I'm quite proud of that. So gold shorts, <clears throat> gold is bearish. My gold shorts are from here to here. I'm going to take out 50%, rather I've already taken out 50% of my position. I've moved my stop losses from here all the way to break even. I'm expecting gold to fall further all the way down into 1550.00 per ounce. 1550. Let's keep it on that, okay? <clears throat> but yeah, so... Um, Guys, you won't believe I recorded a whole last video before I did this. Now it feels like I've already said this stuff before. But let's go, let's go. Let's 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 go. Okay. Still need to deliver and make sure you guys get the best value of things. So now guys, um why exact today I actually want to discuss about the overall perspective of the market. What exactly is going on in Forex as we speak? So I want to do more like a I want to see a more general overview. Okay, I've been away from the charts for a bit, about three weeks now, and it's only right for me to come back and actually, you know, look at things from a bright eyes perspective. So I'm going to clean up everything on my gold chart. You guys already know I'm short gold. Um, it's a bit too late to get in now, but let's actually see what exactly is going on on gold. What direction is gold really heading in now? I'm going to come over to the monthly time frame. <clears throat> Forex mastery student, just by looking at this, you already pretty much know what's happening to gold. Now, judging from the fact that um, gold has failed to put in a significant higher high, okay, what does this mean? So if you look left, this is a high. If you look right, this is supposed to be a high high, right? Ideally, if gold wanted to continue going higher and higher, we should have come to at least putting a higher high somewhere around here. This higher high is not significantly uh, clearer it's not significantly higher and it's not that clear, okay? It's not significantly higher than this one. So for that fact, um, and for that reason, you know, that's exactly what I was saying. I don't think that gold is ready for another leg to the upside. And if you go ahead and put your resistance bar at the, at the body of the monthly candle, you will see that this is actually looking like a double top, okay? This is actually what looks like a double top. And Forex Mastery students, you know that chart patterns that form on higher time frames, such as weekly and the monthly, are patterns that you want to pay very close attention to. You don't want to fuck with them. Those are actually the reversal pattern, okay? Um, so, as you can see, gold has pretty much told me what it needs to tell me. Um, so yes, so I'm done with the monthly. The monthly has pretty much told me anything you need to tell me. Um, if I highlight this level pretty nicely somewhere around here, 
God has failed to make a significant higher high. Not only have we failed to make a significant higher high, we have come back and closed back down previous resistance. Not, and this is not just a daily or four hour time, it's a monthly candle close back down. And we've even opened below. <laughs> So guys, you know, I keep telling you guys, the chart is all about cruise, man. You just have to be like, you, know, you have to be an investigative trader. You have to jump on a higher time frame. So I keep screaming, get the freaking mastery program to teach you how to break down the charts like this. Just come and investigate what exactly is happening. Just by looking at the monthly time frame, I know gold wants to turn around, okay? And just by looking at this, I can tell you that next level target is most likely going to be here, okay? So... Let's walk our way down to the weekly time frame to see what exactly is actually going on, what exactly is happening. Um, so, weekly is it's in March, actually, weekly is in something. So, I'm going to mark out my. Let me say that. Yeah, you don't even know what happened. Like, I, right after I played the video and it wasn't clear, do you know what I did? I just laughed and I just went to eat. <laughs> I just laughed and I went to eat first. I said, you know what, let me just eat first. Let me just chow and get myself together, man. So I was like, what? Whole ass one hour video did not record. I was sad. Man. Nevertheless, nevertheless, one thing about me on Forex, even in my sleep, even on my worst days, I'll break down the chart for you guys in two seconds. Simple, very, very clear. Okay, guys, so let's go back to the weekly time frame. So, just by looking at the weekly time frame, um, I already know that the next level target for gold is this level is wrong. Okay, so let's work for it. Just by looking at gold, I can tell you for a fact that, first of all, monthly time frame is telling the screaming reversal double top. Okay, you feel to break, make, um, break the highs significantly. Apart from that, monthly candle has come back and closed back down below. Um, as you can see, gold is doing nothing but pointing down. Okay? It's pointing down, like okay? this, okay? However, at the moment, we have temporary support. Now, guys, if you remember very carefully, yeah? Um, if you remember very carefully on my second version of Trader Talk, when we started anticipating our sales somewhere around here, we said, our first level, to our le our first target was going to be this yellow bar. Okay, sorry, I deleted my chart. If I wanted to actually stress something, I don't delete my levels. The levels, these levels you're seeing here, have actually been here. Although I'm reporting them now, but before I deleted them just now, they have actually been here since pretty much when I kicked off this series of trader talks in January. Okay, so you know all the levels have been here. We predicted the downfall of gold. You know, all the way from here, they said it was going to come here. Ladies and gentlemen, if we break here, we're going to come all the way down here. It's a no brainer, easy at A, B, C, D. I don't know what's going to happen at this level about here, to be honest, but um, uh, most likely feel it's going to break it. Okay, so why exactly did I get into this trade? Okay, this trade is what they call the capsule trade. The price action is called the freak it up. So this in price action, this is called the capsule trade. Okay, why? Because anytime the market runs into the bottom of the range, which you can see this is the bottom of the range, we usually always pull back to the top of the range and then fall back down again. Okay, it's happened over the years, I've seen it over happened many, many times. One of the rules of price action, right? So once we came down into here at this look left, it was within the capsule, you know, it was a no brainer, easy sell, easy dummy trade. Click sell here, stop losses above here, sweep down. Just by looking at this, I feel like gold wants to come all the way down to the blue zone. So in between my entry, which is 1,003, $1,734 per ounce, all the way down to 1560, we're looking at about roughly about 2,000 pips in decline, okay? Forex mastery students you know you must always take 50% of your position and 100% retracement and move stop losses to break even in the event that we don't make it here, okay? 
So always remember that. You can bounce off from here and start raising and start acting mad. Um, when you get to that bridge, we'll cross it. But at the moment, this market is looking quite heavy. If we come down here, oof. Now, for those of you guys who want to get into this trade, um, just wait for a clear break up here. Pull back into the yellow line. Drop this shit on its head. Now, I know a couple of people who are long gold. Um, I don't know what to say about this situation. <laughs> the only thing I have to say is, judging from the charts, it ain't looking pretty for people who have long positions, okay? Um, so, except we magically form a double bottom here, which I don't know what the case is going to happen because the momentum seems to be pushing to the downside. And the dollar is strengthening like crazy at the moment. I'll get to the dollar index in a bit, okay? The dollar is strengthening like crazy. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is gold in a nutshell. Double top on the monthly time frame. Monthly candle has come and closed back down resistance. We are short this market at the moment. We are currently testing minor support which is this blue zone this yellow zone around here once we break here we're definitely going to come and bleed at least another 1000 1200 pips okay all the way to the downside so done with gold let's head over to AUD USD now um, looking at AUD USD before I get into that I, I, I want to come and see the bigger picture what exactly is happening to this bad boy now on daily time frame. Now, daily time frame, guys, if you remember volume three or four, we placed our buy AUD USC trade that took us all the way up. You can see the way I trade, man. It's almost impossible to go wrong because I wait for those confirmations. The way I map out the levels, I map them out like you should be mapping them out. This is a professional way to look at the market. And as you can see, effortlessly, we bought here, the market just rallied all the way to the upside, hit our target. Think I'm joking, check the previous version for commentary live. I have screenshots to back this shit up. I have withdrawals from my trading account to back this shit up. This is not a joke, okay? So, you know, we pushed AUD all the way up to here. Remember, I told you guys that this level, um, once we get here, I feel, like I was just saying, like I feel that AUD USD might want to come and do something a bit crazy on the higher time frame, on the monthly time frame. Now, judging from the monthly time frame, I will say that I feel that AUD USD might want to come in and put in the right shoulder before, you know, just come and. You know, I felt, I, I felt, and I still feel like mm -hmm. the market wants to come and put in the right shoulder for like an uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern, and then just rearrange in this place for how many more months or weeks that it wants to range for but um you see when i predict the market i don't just predict blindly yeah i can have a hunch like i can like just have a fair idea but i don't allow my fair idea cloud what exactly is happening at the moment and what is happening at the moment is not an inverse head and shoulder okay so let's go and see what's i'm just saying like i feel because you know just having looked at the charts for having looked at the charts for a couple of years I feel like this bad boy wants to push it here and then head higher. That's not the topic of the discussion. What the topic of the discussion for AUDUSD is, is this. We have, put, we have pushed into major resistance, okay? And just like gold, I'm seeing a chart pattern. This is what they call a head and shoulder pattern, okay? I'm seeing a head and shoulder pattern form at a major level. This screams to me reversal, okay? Um, so yes, I feel like a, a, a B, USD might want to lead to the downside. How far is it going to go? That's a different question. Okay, is it going to happen? That's another question. So let's try and let's try and investigate to see what exactly might happen. So if I come on a daily time frame, for those of you who have taken the forex mastery course, you know how I like to calculate my uh, head and shoulder and, and to know exactly what exactly what exactly. Let me calculate something. Sorry guys, I'm a bit rusty. Just bear in mind that I have already done a full ass video on this before and I'm having to do it again. So that's a bit enough for the number I have for you guys. And I'm going to sleep. Oh. <laughs> when I did this analysis before it was a bit different. Try to calculate something.
Hold up, one moment. I'm trying to calculate the kick count. Give me a sec. <sighs> this is more like it. So what I was trying to do there is there's a concept in price action that states that if, for instance, AUD USD ranges for 200 pips, when we break out of that range, we're most likely going to fly out 200 pips. So you being able to calculate how many pips the market range for and then adding it to the neckline, give you an example. Let's say the market range from it did range from here to here. Okay. When we fly out of here, if from here to here is 200 pips, I just measure it in the line, and then I come and add it to the bottom. Okay, this will give you like a, a potential target. And when I measure from here to here, it pretty much lines up with the next level minus. I won't call this a major support because this is this is a, it's a minor resistance. However, it's not. It's, as much as it is minor, it's not the level you want to play around with. This level will definitely hold, okay? It might not hold for a long period of time, but the market will definitely react here. So if I add the range, the pip, the, the, the pip count during the range to the bottom of the neckline, it actually lines up pretty nicely with the next level target, okay? So I'm trying to, I'm trying to build a case for entry, I'm trying to build you know, where we're most likely going to, if indeed we're going to collapse, where we're most likely going to collapse into. So, um, yes, so AUD, USD, this is exactly how I'm going to play it, yeah? I will wait for a break. I will wait for a break of this level, okay? Don't draw your level. Some people draw their levels like this. Like this, it seems like it's already broken. This guy can fly out here. Bring it out. See you guys. Don't try and play yourself and try and draw lines just to suit what you think or to make it look nice. Just be, be honest about your lines, be honest about your analysis, okay? This is what is going to save you overall, okay? Because if you don't put your lines where they're supposed to be, they will trigger you for a false entry and then the means to get in. Do you notice that sometimes you get into the trade and then next thing you might, as you get into the trade, less than 10 minutes, the guy has reversed against you completely. Yeah? Because you got into the trade, you know, you got into the trade when you were not supposed to get into the trade because you did not draw those levels correctly. And you have to remember that these investment banks are watching. They know, they understand the psychology of retail traders. They are here as a game, they're here to mess you up. So always, you know, what I'm trying to say here is don't put your level here and put it here, okay? So that you know for a fact that if, rather when we break this level, you're 100% confident that it has actually been broken and then you have no issues with getting into a sell trade. So guys, this is exactly, this is exactly what's going to happen to AUDUSD. Once we break here, next level target will be here. Once we break here, we come here. You have some standard. Guys, I like to trade in steps, man. This shit is all about steps, okay? Pam, 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 from zone to zone, okay? We've touched the major zone, next zone is going to be here, okay? However, before we go from here to here, we got some bad boys in between, you know, that's just going to be acting, acting the fool, trying to make things a little bit difficult for us. However, as bad, bad traders, as very sharp, and I like to consider myself a smart money trader. Um, we have to put things, measures in place to protect our account um, so that we don't fall victim to, this, um, to these vultures that call themselves investment banks. So, very simple and straightforward. This is a head and, sh head and shoulder pattern from at a major level. That's a text, this is some textbook shit. Even baby pips teach you this, okay? Wait for the break, guys. Wait for the break of the trend line. The, wait for the break of the neckline. Sorry. Wait for the break of the neckline. The next level target is going to be all the way down here. If we break here, we're coming here. So this is exactly how you should trade it. Now, what do you do? You have space here. Once the market breaks here, clearly, scroll down to a four hour, one hour. We look for pullbacks around this region, pop up the cell. You're free to come here. If we break here, you don't really need to scale to the lower time frame. This time frame is fine to so easy to trade within this region. Do that all the way here. So guys, 
I'm not gonna just come on here and shout, oh, AUDUS is gonna drop to 0.700, which it might most likely get there, but we still have some some guys that are you know that are in between. So once we get here, when we break here, then I'm 100 percent certain. At this point, I'm about 60% certain we're gonna get here. But if we do get here and break here and close below here, then I'm gonna be like 95% certain that we're gonna come here. All the same, we're gonna come here. <laughs> So guys, that's AUDUS in a nutshell. I hope I'll be able to explain that to you guys. Um, so we don't go AUDUSD now. Let's jump over to GBPUSD. I was having a look at that the other day. Um, not the other day, like I've already done an analysis of GBPUSD and you will be fired. Let's go again. Now guys, um, GBPUSD, and this is exactly why you guys need to give me all this freaking accolades in the world. I know, I know I'm blaming her on Trump, but you can't really blame me. When I started Trader Talk Volume 1, GBPUSD was trading somewhere along these lines. GBPUSD was trading here. I said next level target is this black line. Once we break here, we're going to come here. And this market has played out to the teeth. Okay, to the teeth. Bro, we reached here, took your money out, next level target was here. And once we get here, I was expecting the reversal. The market has done exactly, exactly, exactly that. Don't play with me. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, so we've pretty much got into this major level. We bounced off the level. The market has slapped the level back. <laughs> okay, slapped it out. And we're like, okay, what next? I'll tell you what, what's happening next, okay? So if we come to the weekly time frame to see exactly what is actually happening. Um, GDP, USD, I won't exactly say. So guys, you have to understand, I'm sure you must have noticed the pattern now. The dollar is reversing. The dollar is taking charge of the situation, okay? And this, is, uh, this pretty much explains what's happening to gold. During the pandemic, 2020, everybody was running to, this is why gold really rallied the most of last year. Everybody was running towards gold because gold is a safe haven asset. Everybody was taking their US dollar, people were liquidating their shares because the stock market was crashing, people were buying gold, and then gold rally. Gold rally to record highs. Aside from technicals, although I call them technicals, but aside from technicals, gold rally to record highs because you know fundamentals were backing it up as well. Now the, the vaccine is here. Everybody's able to go out. People are now starting to say, okay, thank you, gold. Can I have my money back? People are now, you know, dumping their money either into cryptocurrency or people are starting to hold cash, US dollars, and people are now starting to participate in economic activities. Hence why the dollar seems to what be recovering. Okay? I remember Euro dollar um, two trader talks ago, I called it long. However, the euro dollar did not get this is why beef with the euro dollar at the moment. However, it's understandable the dollar the dollar seems to be ready. Now, is it a full scale reversal? I don't think so. But at the moment, the dollar seems to be struggling across the board. You know, this the gist is uh, consistent from gold reversal come down. AUD USD um, head and shoulder at major level is coming down. Now we're looking at GDP USD, pretty much trying to tell us the same story. So let's see how we can take advantage of this. Okay, let's see what, guys, I hope this shit records. Oh my goodness. If this one doesn't record, I'm going to bed. I'm going, it's like 11 p.m. in my time. I'm off to bed. Okay, so yes. GDP USD have been slapped off this major level, and I noticed something very interesting as well. The trend line that has been holding this market in one piece has been broken. Okay? Has been broken, and guys, I'm sure you can tell what's happening. The market now seems to be facing, like, seems to be looking where. Guys, you have to understand that the market moves from zone to zone. Zone to zone, okay. Next zone seems to be 1.3400. Okay, so we're looking at approximately 300 pip drop. It's not a lot for me, I don't know. I like to go for like 500 in one K, but for most of you guys who are not are barely making any money in the market, this might seem like a lot of pips for you guys. So, 300 pips 
you know, a thermometer could drop. Let's forget it here. It's on the cards. Now, let me do something. Let me look for a reason why that might not play out. For every time, this is a habit I want you guys to perform. For every time I do my analysis, it looks good, it looks clean, it's time to go. Blah, blah, blah. I have to hold myself and then I go and look for any reason why my trade and profit should not be joined together in holy matrimony. I take that again. If there's any reason why my trade and profit should not be joined together in holy matrimony, Please object now or forever hold your peace. This is what I'm going to do now, okay? Usually, there's always one. Usually, there's always one crooked trend line hanging somewhere, okay? There's always one crooked trend line that's hanging somewhere. So, let's check. Hmm. Let's see if it is before they start it again. Well, it seems like we've broken everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is for, for extra insurance, for extra insurance, okay? I'm going to put, so when we break out and then we pull back, I like to come and put a base somewhere about here and say to the market, if you know that you are really, 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 really wanting to fall, <laughs> if you know you really want to go from 1.3700 to 1.3400, you, you need to cross this line, right? Hmm? So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to talk business with you. When you have crossed this line and you're on your way here, you can all smile and then I can trade you. But for now, I'm going to take it as you're still trying to get your act together to give me a direction or a bias. Guys, you have to understand that all these measures that I put in place helps me from getting into premature trades. A lot of you guys love to click button, you love to be in front of the chart. This is why I give the chart time. I give it a lot of time to breathe, to, to see, you know, to see what going and what's happening, to breathe and be like, okay, you know, this is this is exactly what I want to do. Okay, so there you go guys. Um GBP USD, the way I'm gonna trade it, you need to come and break down below here and then I'll be interested. If you're aggressive, feel free to click sell. If I'm gonna sell here, I'll reduce my if on a normal day, if not if. I risk 3% of my account on a normal day. If I'm, to, if I'm to get it early, I'll reduce it to 1%. And then once we break that, obviously add more position. But this is my insurance policy right here. This this insurance policy. And guys, look, it's so easy, so clean, so nice. See my charts look pretty nice, okay? Once we break here, make sure I'm to be down here. Everybody's happy, everybody can smile. Don't forget, you can come here and fly out from here. I'm not. You know, the forest, forest market is not my father. I don't know. <laughs> I can only trade based on what the market, the what the market tells me, based on proof. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait to see what happens once we break here. Um, short. So we've done gold, AUD USD. We've done GDP USD now. Um, GDP USD now. I need to touch on something. The euro. Okay, cool. Now, my best friend before the war in Europe. We had called the Euro buy trades. We were expecting, I was expecting one more leg, just one more push, one more push to the upside, one more. That's all you only have one job. Just push this shit here. And the Euro just didn't. I think the dollar just came in and just messed everybody up. Just what did I do that? So I think the dollar just came and just kind of like messed everything up. And uh, on a normal day, this guy should have come all the way up here. But you know, it's a story from another day. That's exactly how. That's exactly what the market wanted to do. Guys, you have to understand that as traders, you have to always be able to adapt. Okay. And if for any reason the trade doesn't go in your favor, don't start flipping your bias immediately. As you can see, I've left the euro for weeks to give me, and for the fact that I've left it for, for weeks, it has now been able to give me clear, I like clear direction, okay? I don't like mixed signal, like relationship with mixed signal, it makes your tummy hurt, right? So I like clear that give me a clear direction, and then I will trade you, I will invest in you guys, you have to understand that I trade a lot of money I have, like, the fund that I have at my disposal to trade with is ridiculous. 
3%, a 3% loss is a lot of money. So I take my time, like I'm never in a hurry. This is what, if there's anything you learned, maybe you might not have learned to become the best technical analyst for me. You might not have learned to become the best fundamental analyst for me. If there's anything, anything that I want you guys to learn from me and take away from all of this is the fact that I want you guys to treat your trading account, okay, like you are managing funds for like, for like an investment bank, like, your, like, like an organization. I want you to take your, treat your trading like a business, okay, like a general who has his responsibility, he has the responsibility of 1,000 soldiers, okay. His duty is to ensure that for every 300 soldiers that go out, no, for every 30 soldiers that leave, so for every 30 soldiers that go out, 100 must come back. Okay, so generals don't send their soldiers out to fight wars that they feel they can lose. The U.S. will not fight China. <laughs> they don't do that, <clears throat> right? They will like you know, generals will only send their, their their soldiers out to wars that. They Feel that they will most likely win easily with the, with the least amount of bloodshed. Same thing with trading. You only send your soldiers out to trade in directions of least resistance until you have a clear path. The euro has come to give me, I'll say this is pretty much a clear path. You can tell that the next level target will be 1.1541. Okay? Although I can see something in the middle here. However, blue zone lines up with touch of trend. So, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be coming down here. So guys, I think that's pretty much it. And uh, one last thing. Now guys, you have to understand that whatever the euro does, every other every other pair kind of like follows suit. Why? Because take that again, whatever the euro does, every other pair kind of like guys, my seat. This is in the chair for me. Please don't disappoint me, man. Whatever the euro does, every other person kind of every other pair kind of like follows suit. Why? Because the euro is actually the euro in USD is actually the inverse version of the dollar index, or rather, the dollar index is actually the inverse version of the euro USD. I want you guys to pay attention to something I want to show you guys, just to tell you why. Whenever the euro just starts to shake and just starts to move, just to be rest assured that every other person is going to follow like, 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 like flies. <laughs> Once is dollar, once is dollar based, once the euro US just moves, just the rest of the other, the rest of the guys are most likely going to follow Why? I want you to look at this pair. I want you to look at the pattern, okay? And you can see the ridges and everything, you can see running to the upside and coming down. Now, let me take you to the dollar index. You see it's upside down, good. Doesn't this look like the upside down euro to you guys? This is the upside down view with all the spikes. I'll, take, I'll show you again. Remember these spikes. Remember these spikes. Remember the pages. Let's go again one more time. See these ridges? So the dollar index is the inverse version of the euro dollar. Okay, so the dollar index is pretty much um, the index that represents the strength of the dollar, okay, across every other financial instrument. So what that simply means is if the dollar index is bullish, the dollar is going to be bullish across the board. Okay? If the dollar index is bearish, it means that the dollar is going to be bearish across the board across most of the pairs. This is why and as you can see um, the DXY at the moment seems to be catching its breath. It, it has been bearish for a while. Okay, the berry has been very bearish for a while. This is why the euro has been going up and making high highs. Two USD has been making high highs. Gold has been making high highs. AD USD has been making high highs. Why? Because this guy was down. But this guy seems to be catching his breath at the moment. And technically speaking, just by you know, just looking at my levels and all that kind of stuff, I can tell that the dollar index wants to rally all the way back into 94.00. Meaning that we still have some more space to the upside. Meaning that the dollar is going to drag AUD USD down, GDP USD down, Euro USD down, gold down. You know, it's just, just, just. Okay. 
Okay, so yes, pretty much lift off. So let's let us move a little bit here. When we get here, we can obviously come and reanalyze. However, we've broken back into this region. I feel um, judging from a monthly time frame. Ooh, ooh, boy, ooh, boy. Uh, look at that. Yo, this is an erection. Look at that. <laughs> it's an erection. Okay, so monthly, the month closes in two days. If monthly candle closes like so, most likely going to push into here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I've been able to enlighten you guys today. Um, guys, like I said, I've already recorded this before. I cannot believe I've actually recorded another version. This is what happens when you're passionate about something. Um, although I said I was going to stop teaching. Um, I've pretty much stopped doing my one-to-one -one classes because I want to focus on trading and make a lot of money for my investors and myself this year. Um, so one-to-one -one classes are about, I'll be doing that um, more often this year. You can speak to my team, maybe they can like, have some availability on my calendar, I, I doubt it. Um, however, once again, this is my time. I hope you guys have been able to learn something from uh, this today. Um, so once again, let me quickly recap everything that I said. So ABUSD, break of the neckline from here, take out here, here. GDP USD, break this bad boy, we're going to bleed out here. I don't see any reason why, any reason why it shouldn't happen, right? Nothing is holding us thus far. The Euro, I can already tell that the next level target for the Euro is most likely going to be what? Here and then gold, a very short gold. Um, we're just waiting on gold to just, 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 just bleed down. Okay. So at the moment, most pairs are looking bearish. Medium term, I mean, it's not long term. Medium term, most pairs are looking bearish, and the dollar index seems to have carried some momentum and is retracing back up to ninety four point zero zero. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. Don't forget to grab the forex mastery program. Thanks. You save you stress, you save you money, you know, all that headache. So, um, that's my time, guys. I'm thinking I might forget anything. I just wanted to say a quick shout out to all the guys on the Telegram group. Shout out to you guys. You guys make the group so amazing. Um, shout out to, let me see if I can remember some of your names. Mr. Michael, um, fantastic trader. You guys have, you guys have turned into something else. You guys are killing it. Mr. Kilechi, always, I always see your updates. I have to shout you out. I always see your updates. Um, I'm trying to see this guy called Tajudi. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he's always messaging. When is the trader talk? Shout out to you. I like your passion. I like you know your your, your motivation, your drive. And there's a guy called Kim. I think Kim always messaging me. Kim is always active. I'm trying to see. Uh, this old man's name. Mr. I'm trying to remember. He wears glasses. I remember his profile picture. He has bald hair. He wears glasses. I think you know who you are. Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to every single one of you guys in the Telegram group. Um, just keep keep doing your thing. Keep keep looking for me, information. Keep trying to learn. Guys, it took me a while to master my craft. Okay, it didn't happen over my screen time. Screen time. And obviously, most of you guys on the Telegram group are for its mastery program. You know the best bit. I will try as much as possible to keep providing that value. Value, value, value. And oh, there's another guy. And shout out to you. He sent me, the, the, the student who sent me a screenshot of, of the money he had made back. Live account. I think he had made like $4,000 back. Like, the guy said, I made my money. I lost my money. I made it thanks to the Forex Mastery Program. That makes me so, so, so bloody happy. Okay? So, guys, I'll catch you guys on my other screen. Thank you for staying to the very end. Um, take it easy and cheers.